Mega Bass expands their core color lineup into some amazing baits. Rats are back in a big way from several brands. And finally, Jeff, the return of the Harry Dice. This is the weekend, and this is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. So fucking good, Jeff. Ow, Those dice are fucker, right in my finger. Those dice are already gone. Dice are gone. Yeah, yeah. That's it's like the, the plot max. Yeah. Thanks for joining, guys. Have a beer. <laughs> Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. Oh, what a oh, stud! Yeah. Look at that. That was Look sick. Cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday. All right, guys, some breaking news. What's in this week at the Hook of Shot? What a beautiful post on Look at that. <laughs> Look at that gut on that. That's a nice fish. Oh, 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 Welcome back, my friends. I am Ben with the Hookup Tackle. Tackle Taku on Instagram, being joined this fine Sunday morning by my buddy Jeffrey the King. Jeff, How's good it to going, see buddy, you, Opel? sir. How are you today? I'm doing fantastic, actually. Would you like a beer? I said I was doing fantastic. I don't want to feel like shit. I'm about to be fantastic, and oh. I know there's a bunch of people out there that are about to be fantastic with me. Cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday, by the way. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle, where we highlight new product drops, very important restocks, especially like the one we're gonna talk about here in a second. And uh, we just shoot the shit, drink beer, hang out on Sunday mornings, have a good time, celebrate the week, right? First sip of Sunday. Um, still waiting for that sponsorship. <sighs> still desperately waiting. Yeah, you, you know. sold so many cans, just so you know. Dude, somebody messaged me the other day that they found them in Costco. <laughs> oh, That's no how mainstream way. this is getting. So <laughs> all because of you. <laughs> well, I mean, who else is promoting them? They obviously aren't promoting very well. <laughs> Finest beer in all the land, Orion. Mm, this is a good way to start. Something. You know what? Maybe we should do an Orion fishing commercial and send it to them. I like this. You, the hot chicks from the hot beach. Hot chicks from the beach. Yep. And Orion, and big bass. Boom. I like this. Award-winning. Big bass, commercial. big babes, big beer, Orion. I already got the catch line. Yeah, I that's like this. It. This is good. <laughs> All right, if you're a big babe and would like to be part of the video, <laughs> welcome aboard. DM Jeffrey the King. Should we talk about fishing tackle? I guess oh, so. A little housekeeping. Ooh. First off, if you guys have noticed, if you've reached out on phone, you've reached out on email, and you've noticed a lag in response time, thank you for your patience. I apologize. We have been just run over by staff. Our main key person, like my right hand man who does everything, Carmen, has been out for two weeks in the hospital. She's messed up, got to have another surgery tomorrow. So pray for her, but pray for us more than anything. Because as you can imagine, when you lose your right hand man who actually knows how to do stuff, and I don't just get to sit here and hook myself in fingers and drink beer, things derail, right? So. If you run into any of the staff that's around this place, they are pulling extra hours and giving it everything they can. Give them a high five. If you're upset about anything, yeah, that's directed. the guy, baby. Yeah, I'm, I'm the guy. So uh, thank you guys for your business and thank you for your patience. I promise we are doing everything we can to get stuff on time and timely, and I'll make sure that everything is taken care of for you, okay? Before drinking beer. Ah, uh, before. Yeah. Smart. Cheers. Not today. Today I'm drinking beer and Target Tackle. Tomorrow. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. You ready? This is it. All right. Harry Dice are back. So this, it has been almost a year mm -hmm. now since OSP has made these things, yes. right? When this came out last year, it started as kind of this crazy, like gimmicky thing. Mm -hmm. Now, it had won a bunch of tournaments in Japan, came over here. Everybody was just kind of like, what is this ridiculous thing, right? But since that time, 
It has absolutely mopped in tournaments, both in the US and in Japan. So when we were back in Japan in February, mm -hmm. every tournament at Lake Biwa was won on this thing. Yeah. It was like the craziest thing ever. And they're selling for a hundred bucks a bag, 200 bucks a bag, like just nuts, right? I spent a few days with Toshi throwing uh, all kinds of OSP baits, but I, I had him show me this in his kind of, you know, mindset of the creation of it and just watching him fish it and how they respond to it, crazy, right? Koya Fujita almost won the Bassmaster Elite throwing this. So if you guys have been waiting, this is the weekend to get them. Now, it's kind of sounding like a Mega Bass record here. Mm. I ordered a world supply of them. Yeah. I got maybe a day supply of them. Okay, so if you want these, make sure you scoop these up quickly. The next batch is probably gonna be like June, July. Okay, so it's probably gonna be midsummer, maybe even August before we see them again. So make sure you scoop these up. Now, let's talk about this really quick, okay? Because a lot of people may be new to this and you may be looking at it going, what, why? Okay, so essentially this is called the OSP Sycora Rubber, just hairy dice, okay? And it is literally just a hairy dice. Now, this actually was a project that OSP worked on for several years to try to create this thing correctly. What you're seeing is you're seeing a cube that's kind of, it's in a dice shape, but you'll notice that it's got kind of slanted towards the front, okay? The idea behind this, they played with all kinds of shapes, round, square, like they really went through all the shapes. The idea behind this is by angling it down just slightly and creating that kind of dice shape, it maintains its posture. So what you do with this thing is you can fish it multiple ways, but the two key ways, weightless like a Senko or on a drop shot. So in Japan this year, the tournaments are just being mopped or on a drop shot. They're finding the fish on their live scope, they're throwing the dice out, shaking it in front of their face, and they're catching pretty much every one. Here in the US, how a lot of guys are using it is as a sight fishing bait, and where it really shines is on cruisers. So, you know, once a fish moves and locks on a bed, you can kind of just pick your poison, right? They almost eat anything. But when those fish are cruising, and whether it's pre-spawn or post-spawn, or they're just up shallow cruising, those can be some of the hardest fish to catch because usually by the time you see them, they've seen you and they're not interested. You throw the dice out by them and you give it a couple twitches, almost everyone eats. It's the craziest thing you ever seen. When this first came out, Jeff and I went out to the Colorado River with Griff and CJ just to throw this. And literally the first cast, I threw it in the water and I'm looking at it and I'm twitching. I'm like, this is just dumb. And then this brown fish comes up and eats it. And it's like, okay, this is, there's something to it. And there really is, okay? so. Basically, that's it. You've got this, you know, rubber cube and then you have these legs coming off and it's just creating something, I think just something confusing to them. Mm. Like they know it's there, but I don't think they have any idea what to do. So they put it in their mouth. Like it's, it's strange. I don't, I mean, do you have any ideas? I mean, you've watched it get eaten a gazillion times now. Uh... Any thoughts on what they think this is? I don't know. I think it's just something that is intrusive to them or they think is very tasty, maybe, hmm. where they're just like, oh. It, it does smell like popcorn. It, yeah, that's right. It does. Yeah, it's popcorn scented. And, uh, you know, it's small. It's not, like, overbearing to them, and they just come up and eat it. Yeah. So, basically, there's two versions of this. There is a Max Salt and a non-salt, okay? The idea behind the non-salt is it's a super, super slow sink. And the max salt is gonna be more of like a slow sink. So depending on what you want the bait to do and the depth you want it to do, that'll be how you choose between the max salt and the non-salt. I watched Toshi use both on the drop shot. I watched him use both sight fishing. We've used both. So if you're gonna fish it unweighted, just kind of casting it around at targets, Max salt is probably where you want to start because that'll at least let you kind of get a, a relatively slow fall. But there's times when maybe you don't want it to fall that fast and you really just want it to kind of hover, then go with the non-salt. Same thing with the drop shot. So if you're trying to fish a little quicker, the max salt is probably your best option. That way you can kind of 
you know, lift it up and have it kind of fall back down. But if you want it just to kind of quiver, you know, very slowly, maybe go with the non-salt, okay? So, as far as rigging, I wanna run through this really quick because it's been a while since so we've talked about this. You're gonna to wanna to hook something like this, okay? So, uh, the Ryugi Fog Shot, the Owner Mosquito Light, Decoy Shot Rig, Worm, any of those would be good options. A size three or four is probably your best bet here. A two, maybe. Like, but a two starting to get pretty big. Uh, but a size three or four is really what you want to do. Jeff, will you hold my oh, dice? Do it. I will hold it. Okay. Let me see my dice. Sir. Here you go, sir. So literally at the front, and again, the front is, is going to be at a slanted angle, right? So you'll see it's wider on one side, shorter on the other side. And the side that's shortest just has like one little dot. You literally just going to go right through the middle and out. That's it. Okay, there's your rigging. That's everything. So if it's on a drop shot, you're gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna have your weight down here and then you can kind of shake it. If you're throwing a weightless, you're gonna fish it just like this and just cast it out there and then let it start to sink and then just give it a couple little twitches and then let it start to sink and then a couple little twitches. That's it, they smoke it. So eight colors, okay? Just gonna show them really quickly to you guys. So based on what you want to do, if you guys are sight fishing, you probably want maybe one of the brighter colors. If you're fishing on a drop shot or just kind of casting to targets, you know, one of the green pumpkins or something like that would probably make more sense, okay? So again, I expect them to evaporate out. I would scoop them up if you want to scoop them up. Uh, as far as rod goes, we've all been throwing this one, which is the P5 baby plugging mainly because we all have this rod in our arsenal and the tip's really whippy, so it gives us a lot of opportunity to just kind of whip it out there. You can go like this or lighter. Kirasame would be a good one, but really it's gonna be important that you have a really soft whippy tip on this because it doesn't weigh hardly anything. You just need to kind of cast it out. So enjoy my friends, scoop them up, have fun throwing the hairy dice. While supplies last, those are available now from OSP. All right, Jeff, while we are on OSP, some new colors expanding some soft plastic lines in the OSP lineup. This was a huge restock week, by the way, pretty much across the doe live spectrum. So if you guys have been looking for beavers, sticks, shads, all that stuff, this is the week to pretty much get whatever color you've been looking for. It's pretty much all back in stock. But some new colors come in two of their soft baits. We're gonna start right here. The HP 3D Wacky gets three new colors across the board. Now there are three different sizes of this guy. There's a five inch, four inch, and a three. This is a really cool worm that's very timely for this time of the year. It's just a, a wacky worm, as the name suggests, right? So just a great one for running bank and just you know making casts. Anytime those fish are, you know, I would say probably bank to 10 foot. Okay, which is gonna probably, most places we are, gonna be over the next couple of months. So, uh, three new colors. You have a stealth earthworm. You have a uh, new earthworm color. You have an isomen color. So some of these are colors that have come from MMZ and were super successful in MMZ and now are trickling into HP 3D Wacky. They're also trickling into Dole Live Crawler which is super dope. So you guys know we're huge fans of the nine inch Dole Live Crawler in the summertime specifically. It's an amazing shaky head. It's an amazing Texas rig because it kind of floats off the bottom. It just has a really good movement to it. Killer, killer worm. Um, but all the sizes are getting those colors as well. So if you guys are looking for just a traditional worm, whether it's drop shot, neko rig, whatever, uh, so all those colors transfer through. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with the HP 3D Wacky, this is the worm that has the two kind of splits in the back, right? So the difference between this is most of the times when you're wacky rigging a worm, you just have like a single worm, right? And so as you shake it, you just have that one tail kind of moving or shaking or quivering. So OSP wanted to just create chaos really with this thing. So as you shake this and you move it, those tails are really kind of fighting each other and quivering at different speeds and kind of just blurring the vision, right? So there's so much happening as you're shaking it and those two tails are going crazy that the fish are kind of confused of the size, of the color. Uh, so it's a really cool bait to try. If you guys are gonna throw it, this is the hook 
you're going to want to use the OSP scrum uh, and a little nail weight, or you can throw it on just like a weighted, like an inchy wacky, something like that. Okay. So have fun guys. All the colors are back plus new colors in crawler and HP 3D wacky. As I was just mentioning guys, huge restock on Doe Live. A great week for craws as well. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for some of the key colors to come back in craws. So three inch, everything is back. Four inch, everything is back in some new colors. And then five inch, same. So tons of five inch in stock now. Uh, we haven't had this many craws in stock ever, right? So new colors, all the key colors back. Five inch is gonna be kind of your flipping size, your punching size, or a big jig. Uh, four inch is a great one on the back of just any jig, a hunch jig, anything like that. And then three inch is gonna be like your finesse option on the back of a compact jig. Also, Dole Life sticks back across the board. So all colors, the three five, the four five, the fats, those all return this week from OSP as well. All right, while we are on OSP restock, also see a huge restock across the board in Blitz, Blitz MRs, Tiny Blitz. I mean, there's tons of Blitzes available. Uh, a lot of the key colors are back, like Bone Tasty Shad is back, Matt Funa, that Matt Chartreuse back, Gill is back, right? Real IU. So if you guys are looking for square bills, Blitz is amazing. Also, the Blitz Max DR sees some key colors come. We should see a huge restock now starting to come each month on EXDR, Max DR, Magnum EXDR. Okay, so probably we'll see, I think probably Max DR first, then EX, then Magnum. Uh, coming over the next few weeks. Uh, but for now, they're leaking out some of the colors. So things like Real IU, Impact Wakasagi, so on and so forth uh, are in stock now if you want to beat everybody to the punch. All right, a couple of new bags from OSP. So you guys know, you've heard us talk about the OSP Messenger bag in here. Huge fans of that bag. There is a new and approved, new and approved? Hmm. That's the beer. I guess it Seven is sips approved. In. It is approved by me. The new messenger bag type two. Ooh. Okay, so mark two, take two, however you want to say it. This is a super dope bag uh, that's just had a few improvements to it. Okay, so all the same things that you love, the big zippers that are easy to pull, even if you have gloves or cold fingers, you get full access to the inside. There's new compartments, new easier ways to take stuff out. The Velcro is a little easier to maneuver and pull stuff out. So, I mean, you could literally lug maybe half the store in this bag, mm -hmm. right? There's also new Molly webbing on the side. They've kind of built in some different holders on the side as well. You also have some Molly webbing on the shoulder strap, new padding, so it's more comfortable all the way around, uh, and some new colors. So there's black returns, uh, but then we also get a new camo and digi camo option in there, which is pretty sick, right? So if you guys are bag fans or bag whores, as I call myself, uh, this would be a great time to scoop one up. That oh man, that flap is so nice. So much easier too. So super sick, the messenger bag type two approved by me. Those are available now. And then this is really super cool. The MCP pouch type two mm. is also back. Okay. And there's also a camo and a digi camo. Now this is a small little pouch. I love this bag. This is designed to fit on a belt or as like a small sling or shoulder strap. So if you're just, if you're like me and you just lug 500 pounds of gear and you're lugging it in that messenger bag, right? And this is slung over. There's always a point where like you cut off a lure and you want to put another lure there's probably only like four things that you really need but you brought half of your arsenal with you just in case this can fit on your belt it can strap on the sleeve or there is a uh, strap included as well if you want to wear it as a you know as a chest or another sling as well but this guy is super dope because it's more of a minimalistic bag it has drain holes on the bottom so you can hang baits in here and it comes with this like hard thing so like let's say you're throwing a crankbait and you want to cut it off and put a jerk bait on you can just hang the crankbait here it lays in there it's not going to snag or you know stick a hook in anything you can take it back out, tie it back on. So this is kind of like your day storage box. And then you can put a couple of little boxes here or soft plastics or whatever you want. There's pockets on the outside. You can put hooks, weights, whatever. Uh, just again, a minimalistic, 
just easy to use option, super sick uh, from OSP. Those are available now. So let me get this straight. Yes. You have 500 pounds in your messenger bag. Yeah. Then you, then you add that as well. Yeah. And then you're also carrying three rods. Well, so you've seen me when I'm fully loaded. Yeah, it's ridiculous. With my messenger bag, right? Yeah. If I want to do something like say, just get one little crankbait out, mm. I literally have to take my whole bag off, yes. put it on the ground, uh -huh. take half of my shit out because it's of course the box that's on the bottom of my bag. Right. Right. It, I mean, it's just a, it's a nightmare, mm -hmm. right? Whereas this, let's say maybe I learn how to just calm down a little bit and Whoa. just bring like, <laughs> yeah, stop seriously. laughing, relax. Calm down. You know, maybe I just want to bring one box and a couple of lures, <laughs> right? I could do this. I could just put my Merce on. I mean, my MCP pouch, okay? Man carry purse, is that what the MCP is? Uh -huh. I, I don't see that now. But, yeah. That would be the day. But. That would be the day that that's the only thing If I have the 500 pounds on me too, uh -huh. right? You're gonna so bolt. like, here's normal You're Ben, 500 pounds, right? What's dope about this is like, I know I really only need a spinnerbait and a crankbait. All right, so I can just put my two or three things that I actually need right here. I'll carry this around so I is break my back exercise? for 10 years from now. Yeah, this okay. is my workout, right? <laughs> and then this is my functional, like, oh, there's the one lure I actually needed today. Tie it on, take that one off. You know, or I could dangle on my hat like flies, all right? Treble hooks dangling. There's options, Jeff. This is just, you know, you just don't understand fishing fashion, Jeff. Look at you, <laughs> bum. Okay, also returning from OSP, a must have if you guys are a shore fisherman, uh, the OSP rod holders return as well. Uh, if if you've seen any video of me fishing from shore, I always have one of these on. As long as you're not retarded, you can wear this in a way to where you don't hit your other rod, right? I have occasional lapses, but it's amazing. So if you fish two rods, which you pretty much always do, this will prevent you from having to put a rod down to fish. You could literally just move and then just always have this at your side, attaches to your belt or your bag or whatever. It's a, it's a super sick little dude. Plus it has this, everybody needs that, mm. right? So thank God they made that Velcro, right? There you go. It also has a couple of little D-clamps. You could put things on there if you wanted. So if you wanted to put, you know, little snips or whatever, you could attach it to there. But really, I just like it because it's one of the few rod holders that doesn't weigh anything. So if I put it on my like hip bag, like I wear a hip bag a lot, I can put it on that. It just stays and it doesn't weigh anything down. So those are available again from OSP. All right, how about some shirts, okay? These are super sick. So dry long sleeve shirts. This is a uh, sun shirt. It's built out of like a, kind of like a Nike dry fit, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So very similar uh, material and feel to that. It feels nice and soft, uh, designed for hot weather. Three colors. You've got the OSP hit in the front. You've got a cool little kind of like bass scale logo in the back. And then you've got, of course, the hit on the sleeve as well. So for 49 bucks for a long sleeve sun shirt from OSP, that's like a crazy good price. So this is one of the best, you know, clothes offerings I, I would say that they have made really since I've been selling OSP. So, I mean, super sick. Now, we're only bringing them in in two sizes, XL and double XL, okay? So what that means is your two XL is really more like an XL, okay? And your XL is really more like a medium large. So if you would normally wear a medium or large, get the XL. If you would normally wear an XL, get the 2XL. If you're any other size, I got nothing for you. Buy a Sims or an Anetic. OSP doesn't want you, just kidding. So that's a 2XL, right? So, I mean, I'm pretty muscular, but that's like, you know, that's like a perfect fit for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm normally an XL. Yeah. yeah well, I don't know, maybe a 2XL now, yeah, I've been shit. working out. Okay, those are available now. All right, Jeff, let's jump over to Mega Bass really quick. There is gonna be a lot of really cool Mega Bass things coming down the pipe over the next few weeks. So if you guys are Mega Bass fans, make sure you don't miss any of the next few weeks, okay? Just to give you just a little bit of a heads up, there's some new mag drafts 
coming. Mm. There's some new super cool Huntsman BFS rods. There's a new special run white python. And there's some new core colors in jerk baits that are going to be coming in the middle of May. So earlier this week, Mega Bass announced that two of their special run colors are now going to become core throughout the line. Those two colors are GLXS Spawn Cherry and Northern Secret. Now, these are two of our best selling colors. Spawn Cherry is one of those colors that gets run maybe once a year, once every two years, but has not been a core color in anything other than the Plus One Junior. Okay, Northern Secret is the same. It's one of those colors that's been an exclusive for Canada, but hasn't been offered in the US. Mega Bass USA announced this week that they're gonna make both of these core and we should start seeing these come through in May. Now there's gonna be several baits these are gonna be offered in. The 110, the 110 Junior, the 110 Plus One, the 110 plus two, and the X80 Trick Darter. Okay, so five new baits are gonna get both of these colors. Now, even though this color will eventually become core, the first couple batches are gonna evaporate out and they're gonna be super hard to get. Okay, so what we're gonna do is starting today, we're gonna open up pre-orders on these if you want them as full sets. So it'll be both colors in all five baits. You're gonna get 10 baits total as a full set. That's just easy for everybody here just to get them and turn them around to you quick. So if you know you want them, you can certainly pre-order the full set. That will guarantee you a spot uh, and make sure you get it on the first round. The second batch, probably not gonna be here till fall. Okay, so once the first batch evaporates out uh, here in a couple weeks, they're gonna be gone for a while. So if you want to pre-order, you can. You'll be the first in line and you'll make sure you get one of each color in each bait. If you wanna wait for them to come, we should see them middle of May, and then you can just pick and choose which ones you want. So those are available. I'm excited to see their core color line expand. Pretty dope. So also this week from Mega Bass, we see a huge restock in pretty much all the colors of Sleeper Crawl. Now this was a uh, release earlier this year that just evaporated out and a lot of the key colors that you guys wanted just flew out of here okay so all of those are back so colors like you know demon craw all right scuppernong is back grass craw scuppernong red all the scuppernongs basically numa eb the green pumpkin scuppernong blue so all of those return cheetah craw if you guys aren't familiar uh with the sleeper craw i don't know where you've been Right, it's been pretty much everywhere. Uh, but this is the super dope new crawl bait uh, from Mega Bass. It's made out of an elastomer style plastic. So it has a great buoyancy, it's got a great float. Uh, it's got kind of hollow claws that kind of move just like a crawfish would. It is basically a rigged crawdad, right? So I, I refer to it as kind of a internal rig system because it's similar to a mag draft where everything's kind of positioned perfectly to allow this bait to kind of have more of a horizontal fall like a crawdad would, nice and slow. And it comes through rocks and cover very easily. It does have uh, the internal hook built in as well. So all you gotta do is tie it on, throw it. Guys have been catching a ton of fish. So I know a lot of you have been waiting on specific colors on that. Those all return this week from Mega Bass. All right, while we are on Mega Bass, a couple restocks to let you guys know of. Uh, a couple weeks back, we launched the uh, special run of MRX Griffin. This was a run that Mega Bass did, uh, special for the US market. We blew through a handful of the colors. We did get a small restock in many of them, okay? So if you missed out or you just wanna pad your box, if you wanna be like me and load your mess your bag with 500 pounds of Griffins, this is probably the week to do it. Because uh, once these are gone, we're probably not gonna see these for a while. So colors like uh, Crack Lime Chartreuse, GLX Skeleton Gill, Fire Craw, Avocado IU, and more are back while supplies last from Mega Bass. We also see a restock across the board in iBuy iShad TX, which is the Japan only size offering. Uh, the iBuy iShad is a quarter ounce, 57 millimeters, but the TX is a deep diving version. So for you live scopers or for you jerkbait guys, you just want a bait that can get down realistically in 12 to 15 feet on light line and cast incredibly far, this is a great option. So all the key colors like Black Hole, GG Gill, Wild Craw, uh, those all return. We also see a small restock in some fine art ghost wakasagi across some of the key baits as well. So the Livex Model 1, 
in FA Ghost Wakasagi is back in stock, the Xana Hand 2 in Fine Art Ghost Wagasagi and the Sewage in Fine Art Ghost Wagasagi all returns. So the Fine Art is that hand-painted series that Mega Bass does. Uh, just super beautiful elevated colorations, just super natural. This is probably the most natural bait fish pattern that they make. So if the color speaks to you, there are some options in that right now available from Mega Bass. All right, Jeff, let's jump over to rats really quick. So uh, some restock in a few key colors in PB Rat, one of our favorite rats. This is the time of the year, post-spawn into summer is really like the key rat time, I would say. We're really kind of all the way through fall mm -hmm. in a lot of places, yeah. right? So a rat's an amazing bait for big bodies of water. It's an amazing bait for ponds. Pretty much anywhere you fish, they will destroy a rat if you use it, mm -hmm. right? So the three piece is kind of the magical one for me. I You prefer the three piece, yeah, right? the three piece is dope. The difference between the three and the two is in the water, they almost look the same. Mm. They're, because the, the three is kind of snaky, but it sounds so much different. Very so different. much more noise to the three piece. So uh, we get four colors back and some browns and some grays uh, from PB Rat. So those return. Also, Spro returns in all of their colors of the Spro Rat across the board. So there's four sizes of this. There's a 50, a 40, a 30, and a 25. These are super popular uh, because they're relatively inexpensive. They catch fish. Mm -hmm. uh, you can fish them on the surface or you can crank them down either way. Uh, so all the key colors like brown and gray ghost and ninja and that kind of stuff, those all return uh, this week as well from Spro. All right, a couple quick restocks to let you guys know about. You remember this dude? Oh, the yes, the very popular one. Yes, so this was the new release from Yamamoto, the Yamatanuki. I'm probably not saying it, but this is literally probably the dumbest Yamamoto bait and the craziest Yamamoto bait at the same time. Hmm. Everybody's been coming in looking for this thing. They evaporated out of here when they arrived. Very popular. They're back. So if you guys missed out or you've already plowed through your stash, this is a great time. All the colors return. I just can't stop just like shaking wiggling that little that. Yeah, you like wiggling that thing. thing down there. So basically designed kind of the original cover sky idea. Mm. Just a, a heavy plastic bait that's designed to kind of get down quick. But it has this little kind of dong looking thing that just kind of quivers. Uh, so it gives it a little bit different look, right? Where a cover sky is just going to kind of glide down. This is going to let you kind of shake it a little bit, right? Why are you looking at me like that? Your mind is so dirty, Jeff. What would you call it? I'm waiting. Uh, it's just a, a, yeah, uh, a tail section. Right. You calling it a dong thing. Does it... A dangalang? Dang dang dangalang. Does it look more like a tail section or a dangalang? Let us know. Comment down yeah, below. Or maybe know. not. It will probably get actually, banned. Actually, hold on now. <laughs> yeah, actually, actually don't. Slow yeah. Down. Just... Think, it, think good thoughts to yourself. Okay, so anyways, hey, who? Jeff, filthy mind. Oh. The Yamatanukis are back. I see. Okay, so if you need some, those are here. <laughs> Man, difficult with you, Jeff. You're not even drinking. I bet you're frisky. Frisky. Some Dawa Reels return. So I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on Exist and Certates. These come in and they evaporate out. So probably the same thing is gonna happen. So if you've been waiting on 2,500 sizes, this is the good uh, weekend to scoop them up. So the Exist LT 2,500 XH, uh, which is a perfect one for a baby plugging for you know any of your nose hook drop shot, the spin L Xyle, all that kind of stuff. The Exist 2,500 is dope. Certate 2,500 is also back. Uh, very, very similar reel, almost as smooth of a drag as this for half the price. Obviously much heavier, but both great reels. Back in stock. All right, and finally, a couple of rods to let you guys know about. The one returns from uh, Daiwa in the Stee. So this is the 7.6 Mag Medium Light uh, spinning rod, really designed for throwing, you know, hair jig, Okashira screw head, just an amazing all around use rod. Been a while since they've been in stock. So those return. And then of course, my all time favorite spinning rod. This was back, sold out, back again. Okay, now this will be the last batch mm. until the end of the year. Okay, so this is it. So if you guys missed out or you just want to make sure you have a third or fourth windbuster, 
right? I know you you're have. laughing, but that's really what it comes down to. The Windbusters are back, okay? Probably the best all around spinning rod that I've ever used, specifically for like three eighths and half ounce stuff. Okay, so if you're looking for a little light nose hook drop shot rod, not your rod. But if you want a free rig rod, you want to throw a jerk bait, you want to throw a shaky head, you want to throw a weightless Senko, maybe you want to throw a little crank bait, you could almost do everything on this rod. So powerful, so sensitive, just a really fun rod to use. Uh, so the Windbuster in the Shorter P5 returns from Mega Bass one last time for the year, it sounds like. So scoop them up. Would you throw that Yamato Niki on that thing? Yamato Niki? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best Yamato Niki rod on the market. Yamato Niki. Yeah, I nailed it. Yamato Niki. All right, guys, that is a wrap. A little easier, a little Very calmer. Very easy. Look, Very calm. Without Carmen, I don't know what to do. So, I see. you know, we normally have somebody to do all this yes. for us. Yes. So now I've just got to, like, I can only do what I can do, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, but some super dope things. Yes. I'm super stoked about the dice. I want to go grab mine really quick before I they sell out. I think Riff already bought half of them. Probably. He's going to start A-rigging them. Mm. Mm. Hover oh, shotting. Hover. hover shot the dice. You want to do a dice 1v1, Jeff? 1v1v1? Yes. Well, just 1v1. I don't want to fish it against Chris. Oh. He's going to win. Well, yeah. You and me, dice? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Sounds good. Guys, if you have any questions on anything we covered, drop it down below. I will definitely get an answer for you. Jeff will leave links to all the products. Uh, so if you want to check any of them out closer, you can. On behalf of myself, Jeff, Griff, everybody here at the Hookup Tackle Guys, thank you guys for your business. Thank you for your support. Thank you for giving us time on your Sundays to watch our craziness. Uh, and thanks for being into super dope tackle. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Hug your families, go catch some great fish. If you can find it, enjoy some delicious Orion. We will see you next week. Peace out, my friends.